that we have in you that anything we have in thy name you will answer us lord i ask for peace in my family the most pathetic thing about your life is that you don't know how miserable your life has become how useless hopeless and so no i don't even hold it hold it brother. hold it who gave you the pomposity the rascality and the impudence to talk to me the way you are doing <laughs> you and uh, why on earth should you do that? That you can't help me to the toilet? What a shameless, idiotic, and stupid woman are you? You must be a big old fool for saying that. So you still have mouth to be blowing grammar. You are still blowing grammar with this your condition, with this your miserable life. So what gives you that entitlement that I should be, I should be pushing you around? Are, are you a baby? What is it? Who are made you? A baby? Who made you what? what you are right now? Eh, you. Who made you what you are? I built this house. Eh, really? I, I did everything for you. Uh -uh. I made you what you are, and now you have that audacity, that idiotic man to spit on my face, on my face. Lord, it's my you. Restore your love back to my family. Fix my mom and dad, Lord. My problem is this: your mouth. Maybe your mouth too should go away. You become dumb and deaf, so that your mouth become useless just at your left. By that time, maybe I will have peace in this house. Because I don't know what gives you that entitlement over my life. You claiming you make someone, you of all people like this. Oh God. Oh, this this, this that... man needs to understand some things. He needs to understand some things. Now you listen to me. Okay. Listen to me. Uncle Wright, I don't know why God is not answering my prayers. I pray to him several times to return peace to my family. I begged him and I told him that in return, I will give him my whole life. But instead of that, my family has still shambled. My life is still miserable, Hunku. Okay. I want you to understand that God still loves you. And he would never he would never leave you alone, okay? He's listening to all your prayers, and in due time, he will answer those prayers. But uncle, can you just tell me the reason why God is silent to my request? Why is he not answering my prayers? That his silence does not mean he's not listening. And that his silence does not mean he is not doing something. Sometimes God keeps silence because he wants us to go through a process. All right. For instance, now that you are going through this, keep praying. Everything works together for the good of those that love him and you love Jesus Christ. So everything is working together for, for your good. Okay? Uncle, you don't understand. What? Uncle, if you understand... Ah, okay, Uncle, no. My dad wants me to get rid of my relationship with God. He doesn't want to hear the name of God at all. He doesn't. Uncle, to bust your brain, he said the only thing that can make him happy is to disable my relationship with God. He doesn't want me to come for fellowship. He doesn't want me to come to you. He doesn't want me to go to church. He doesn't want me to, he doesn't want me to involve myself with him at all. So, Uncle, what should I do? Is it to forsake my earthly father and obey my heavenly father? 
or to obey my heavenly father and forsake my earthly father. It is not good to disobey your parents. The Bible says, honor thy father and thy mother so that your days may be long in the land that God has given you. And it will not be good for you to disconnect yourself from your maker. All right? The Bible says that what shall separate us from the love of Christ? The tribulation, hardship, nakedness, sword. And then it says, not even the angels. Not even the angels. All right? So not even your parents should take you away from God. When it comes to anything contesting with God in your life, choose God over that thing. All right? But that doesn't mean that you should be rude to your parents. You only ask God for the wisdom, okay, to be able to live with them in peace. All right? Okay, sir. But, uncle, it's not easy for me to disobey my father. It's not possible for me to disobey him. He has sacrificed a lot for me to have life. I could remember back then, when I was young, I was playing in the compound with my friend. While playing, accidentally I hit my head on the wall. I was rushed to the hospital by my father. I spent months in coma. Mr. Thompson, where is she now? Mr. Thompson, I understand. But, but please, you just have to calm down. You don't have to get all worked up because of this situation. Remember that your health also is of, um, of importance, please. Eh? Please relax. Please, what shall we say to these things? Please relax, eh? Please. I want you to calm down. Fadika sustained a fatal head injury mm. from the push. And it must have been a very strong push. Because we observed that um, she cannot even remember some of the things she has been familiar with before. Also, she can't even recognize people or events. And from the CT scan carried out on her, we discovered that um, a part of her brain is damaged. What did you just say? You think the brain of my daughter is damaged? My daughter? Mr. Thompson, <gasps> Mr. Thompson, I didn't say the entire brain. I said a part of the brain has been damaged. <laughs> and with the help of some medications, she'll be fine. It'll only take some time. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. Fadi can be fine. Give me this daughter when I needed her the most. You promised that she would be a blessing to us. Not only to us, she will be a blessing to our generation. God, you told me great things about her. You told me sweet and great things about her. You showed me, Lord, a bright future, a glorious future. <sighs> father, Father, my Father, 
you didn't tell me that she will pass through this phase, this horrible phase of her life. Lord, you didn't tell me that she would lose her brain at age six. You didn't tell me that. You didn't. Lord, you didn't tell me that. You didn't tell me that. You didn't tell me, Lord, that she, she will not be able to recognize me at a point in her life. She will not be able to recognize me as her father at a point in her life. Oh, Lord. Lord, why, why is this happening? God, could this be a test, a trial of faith? Or the enemy crept in somewhere, somehow. Is it because of my sin? Of the sin of the mother? That is making this girl to pass through this affliction. And it's making me to pass through this terrible affliction. Lord, Lord, arise. Arise and deliver her. Give her a new brain. Give her, Lord, a new start. Give her a new beginning. Father, arise and fight for my family. There is a divine touch that you have. Let that divine touch descend on this, my daughter. Lord, I plead with you. I plead with you, Lord. Heal her. Heal her. Heal her, oh Lord. Arise and let the enemy be scattered in the name of the Lord Jesus. Arise, oh Lord. Woman is this? Is this a wife? Oh God. Oh God. What do I do now? Hello, nurse. Where are you? We are expecting you. It's been hard now. We didn't see you. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm late. But I, I, I will be with you. Just give me some few minutes. Eh? In some minutes time, I will be with you, okay? Nobody will take care of your daughter. In fact, there is no any medication. We are not giving her anything if you don't come with food. Remember, without food, she's not going to take any medications. And you are still there. I will be there in the jiffy. And actually, just to prepare her food. And then, so that she will eat and uh, shower. And then take her medicine. That's why I ran home, please. Don't forget change of clothes also. I will still be there. I will still change. If you like, stay there. Lara! Get up and go and cook for your daughter! Hey! Oluwa, woman's a lie, see you. Ah! What kind of a woman is this? Well, let me go and prepare the food myself. Oh. Doctor, 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 emergency, emergency! Now, Mr. Thompson? Yes, ma'am. The young girl's father? Yes, ma'am. How come? We have an accident on the Oh, my God. In this bid to save my life, he had a fatal accident that took his spinal cord and rendered him disabled till today. Uncle, it's hard for me to disobey you. Because of me, my dad is in this horrible condition. Because of me, my dad is in witch here. Because of me, my dad's life is miserable. Even when my mother is not there, my dad showed me love. He takes the role of a father and a mother for me. He played the role for me. 
So why on earth will I not make my father happy? Why will I forsake him and follow my heavenly father? Um, you see, uh, Farike. Hello, Dad. Um, um, uh, I'm in Uncle Bright's, Uncle Bright's place. No, 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 Dad. I don't want Uncle Larry to come and pick me. No, Dad. I don't want him to come. I'll come on myself. <laughs> okay, Daddy. Right. I have to go now. Okay, no problem. Before you go, let me pray with you. Lord, I commit Fadika into your hands. I pray, Lord, that you give her the grace that will sustain her in this trial in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord strengthen you. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you. Take uncle. care of yourself. I will be praying for you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Hope you're fine. Oh, yes, I'm fine. Really? So, what happened to the cheerful smile and the bear hug that used to welcome Uncle Larry? Hmm? Can we go home, please? Look, Fadeke, I understand if you're still crossed with me because of what happened the last time. I'm sorry. See, Uncle Larry loves you in a good way. Can we please go? I'm feeling uncomfortable right now. Please drive. I can't deal anymore with these life struggles. I keep getting tired of my existence. I keep looking forward to the day all this will end. Haba, 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 save me. I can't deal anymore with this life struggle. I keep getting tired of my existence. I keep looking forward to the day all this we have. Oh, my daughter. Daddy, I'm um, out to talk to you, sir. Oh, come and sit down. Get of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm all here. It's about Uncle Larry. Larry, who? Oh. He told me about it. He did? Yeah. He said um, he came to visit me 
and then you mistook him for another person. And you screamed at him so widely. No, Dad. <sighs> hmm. He said he was actually scared to the marrow. But I've pleaded with him to forgive you. He wanted to rape me. Shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. Larry wanted to rape you. Yes. Larry is your uncle. He won't do anything to hurt you. If you don't know what to say, you don't talk. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Um, uh, I think I will do what Larry advised me to do. You will need to be taken to the hospital for a second brain check. Daddy! And you will have to apologize to Larry for embarrassing him that much. That, that is whether you like it or not. Okay? So he, you just have to understand that Larry is somebody that really loves you. You must know that Larry is somebody that will not do anything to hurt you. He won't do anything to hurt this family. Cares for you in particular. Since when you were young, Larry has been taking care of you. How can Larry now be the one that will be that 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 will want to rape you? What? You need to apologize. You just have to apologize. Larry. Yes. Are you for real? Uh, no, no, don't get this wrong. You know, I'm not trying to spite you in any ways. I'm just trying to look out for, you know, my fellow friend. Oh. Indeed. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's mind our business. Okay? What's business? Larry, what's business? How many times have I warned you never to mention that fool's name anytime we are together? His name alone taunts me off. I'm just allergic to, to, to that bad things. But I'm sorry still. It's just a slip of tongue. What are you doing? You've pissed me off. You've pissed me out of the mood. So I'm leaving. Ah, no now. You are leaving to where? It is none of your business. You know, take a drink, you. Ah, a banner. It's up to that. Okay. Eh? <laughs> Five hundred thousand naira, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> you mean all this for me alone? And I'm still gonna do more. Oh my god! Ah! You know what? Mood is reactivated. <laughs> you have got the key. We are here. Yeah. Business. So, students, you see, I have told you that you need to read and understand what the Word of God says to you. Like it says in the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 17, that you should not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Can you see? So that means it is the Word of God that will make you wise. You see, the Word of God is full of life. The same way I have been telling you, Cynthia, right? That I've been telling you, that I've been telling you, that the same way you study your textbooks, your notebooks, how we teach you in class, 
and then you get home and then you read over and over and over again. Okay, why do you read, Fadike? Why do you read your textbooks? Why do you need to read your notebooks? Yeah, the reason why I read my notebook is to pass my exam and to understand to pass your exams and understand better round of applause, please. Exactly, that is the that is the point. You read because you want to pass, and you need to pass for what? For promotion, right? Because if you fail, you won't promote. All right. So progress in life. You need to read to pass your exams, and that the same with the scripture. If you don't check the word of God, understand God's word. There are tests of life. There are examinations of life that you have to sit. You have to face those examinations. You have to face those tests. If you don't know what the word of God says, you fail. All right? So, Bible is saying, God is telling us that if you don't want to be foolish, then you have to know what the will of God is. Out of God's will, you cannot be wise. That is what it is. So if you want to be wise in life, you need to know what... To, and how do you know the will of God? You know the will of God by reading the scripture. Knowing what God says here. Alright? Alright? I know you have busy schedule and all that. You have to get home, help your parents and all. But you need to find time to read the scripture. Say, I will find time to read the scripture. I will find time to read the scripture. I will pass my exams, pass my exams in, school. in school. I will pass my tests, in, school. I will pass my tests. In, life. in life. Hallelujah! Fadike, yes, I've always told you, you don't need to give up. Do not give up. God is still on your side. All right, the whole situation might think it might look like um, God is not there, but God is always there. Okay, that is why you should not relent in prayers. Always keep praying. He's there. He's listening. And you might even think, oh, Uncle cannot understand. He's not in my shoes and all. Fine, but Christ understands this pain. Remember, He was nailed on the cross. All right, He understands your pain, and He is fighting for you. All right, all will be well. Keep praying for your parents. Don't give up them. All right? Don't worry. Don't throw in the towel. All right? All will end well. Okay? If you stay strong in Christ, all will end well. And always keep the smile. <laughs> That's it. Thank all right? You. Okay. God bless you. Your love is too so sweet to you. Oh, ah, your love is kind to oh. You are merciful and gracious, oh, oh you, you make my life better, oh, yeah. Actually, it breaks my heart when it appears like you don't want to respect my instructions. I was not born like this. I was not born in this condition, which you know about. I found myself in this horrible state because of the love I have for you. I believe the least you can do to show gratitude is to obey me. But it came me. Cut away from everything that has to do with Jesus. But Dad, how possibly will I cut away from Jesus? It's like a branch cutting away from its stem. It will die a natural death, Dad. What the came I was like you before. As a matter of fact, I was deeper than you are now in Jesus. But when you were healed and you lost your memory, I prayed to God to heal you and restore your memory. 
But instead of getting an answer, a favorable answer from God, here am I. Here am I on a wheelchair, paralyzed. That experience made me conclude that the whole concept of Jesus is nothing but a long time fabricated lies. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry for not making you happy. I know you sacrificed so much for me to have life. And I know your effort as a loving father. Dad. I promise to do everything within my power to make you happy and to make you a proud father. Even if it's even if it means cutting away from Jesus. from light to darkness. No. I reject it for you in Jesus' name. Ah, no. It will not come to pass in Jesus' name. Ah, I reject it for you, Fadike. I need to call her right away. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> All right, Dad. Time. Let me take you back to your room. Oh, I, I need to have my privacy. I feel like not living this Okay, Dad. Hi, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father Kemi. You will not backslide in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. But Dad, hope you forget mm -hmm. the promise. Oh, I'm always in promise, keep on me going. That's I love you, Dad. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, why is she not picking a call? Oh Lord Jesus. Okay, Dad. So, no, why are you not picking your calls? Dad, it's nothing. Nothing? Yeah, don't worry, it's a friend. Bring your, bring your phone. No, don't, don't worry. I said, bring your phone. This same man. It's such a large economy that it's very important market for you know many U.S. companies. Hello, Mr. Thompson. Hello, Principal. Good evening, sir. How are you, sir? Well, it is not a good evening over here at all. Uh, is everything all right, sir? How is Fadeke and her mom? Not once. Not even twice. I have warned that useless Bible teacher in your school. Not to have anything to do with my daughter, but he won't listen. Now it was clear to me that that useless Bible teacher in your school has been trying to molest my daughter. Huh? What is the meaning of that? Molest? So How? I, I, I don't think Mr. Bright will do such, uh, such thing. There must be a mix up somewhere. Mm. So, are you insinuating that I'm lying? It means you are aware of all the escapades of this man and you are trying to cover it up. Is that not so? No, far from it, sir. You know I will not condone any kind of attitude like this from my staff members. 
Uh, is Fadeke there? She's here. Please let me speak with her. Hello, Fadeke. What is this that I'm hearing about Mr. Bright uh, uh, molesting you? Is that true? Um. Yes, sir, I tried. How? When? It is not uh, the how or the when that, that is important. The important thing here is that I don't want that teacher around my daughter. Else, I will be forced to get my daughter out of your school and get the police involved. I'm sorry, sir. I, I can assure you that Mr. Bright will be severely sanctioned. I'm really, really sorry for this, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Bye, sir. I stand in gap for Fadike right now, and I pray in Jesus' name, she will not fall. She will not falter. She will not turn back. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, she has laid her hand on the plow. In the mighty name of Jesus, she will not turn back. She will not turn back in Jesus' name. I can't deal anymore with these life struggles I keep getting tired of my existence I keep looking forward to the day all this will end Hello? Who is this? Good evening, sir. It's Fadika Thompson. Um, what I told you about Mr. Bright yesterday. What about what you told me? All, all that I told you about Mr. Bright trying to molest me. Is not false. It is not false? Yes. It is true, you mean? Yes, sir. Is that why you called Paul Fadike? <laughs> Please, I want to beg you for something. Okay. Ignore his rant. Just go in there, pick your clothes for change of clothes, and that's all. I'll be here waiting for you. I will try. Because I know he would definitely rant. Uh, he, he would talk. Uh, but I will try, I will try. As usual. So you wait for me here. I'll be back soon. Very soon. All right. <laughs> I'll be back shortly. Very soon. Hello, woman. Is this the time that a wife should come home when you know the condition of the home? What nonsense condition? No, tell me. What nonsense condition? And who set the standard time for someone to come into our own house? Woman, read my lips and read it well. You are a shameless woman. Gallivanting from one clubhouse to another clubhouse. Is that how a responsible housewife should behave? You are a big old fool for saying such to me. Oh, oh, oh. sitting down at home and dragging this your miserable wheelchair from sitting room to bedroom. Is that how to be a husband? Is that how to be a husband? 
Your mates are there. They are out there making money. But you are here making mouth. Oh, you are making something. MM, money, mouth. That's why I'm making something. You're making what you know how to make. Don't say, <laughs> stupid man. Watch the way you talk to me. Watch the way you talk to me. Watch it. What if I don't? Now tell me, what if I don't? What will you do? You this shameless and lazy man. Other meaningful men are shouldering responsibilities of their family. But look at you. Such a hopeless case. Oh. But listen, everyone knows that I did that when I was still able to work. Oh. It's not from a condition. Yeah. Do you think I care with whatever you do about your life or with your life? I don't care. It's no condition. See how you talk like a moron. If not for my daughter, do you think I'll still be under this your miserable roof? Doing what? Oh, come on. Hold it down, woman. I cut it off for you. Ah, come and cut it. No, come and cut it. Since that is the only thing you know you can do with your life. That is the only thing left for your life. Come and cut it. Come and cut it. Ah, if not because I respect you and I fear God, I do what I'm, what I'm supposed to do. Ah, oh, come, come, come. Ah, ah, woman, 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 woman. What can I do? I suppose. Ah. What's the problem? Mom and dad have started again. I feel traumatized right now. I don't feel safe here. See, I understand. I understand. So they are at it again, right? Yes. Don't, don't worry. Let me take you somewhere hmm, to cool off. Drench is alive. The hills and the mountains ravish their hearts before life. Trust a friend and all is with venom or stone. All is vanity. All is vanity. The ocean and the sky. 
sweeps off and drenches the land. The hills and the mountains ravage their highs before a lie. Trust a friend and all is with venom must on. All is vanity. All is vanity. Get ready, let's go. Keep me on, keep me safe. You are my God. You are able, more than able, ever faithful, ever sure. Hold me close, keep me on, keep me safe. You are my God. You are able. More than able, ever faithful, ever sure. Hold me close, keep me on, keep me safe. You are my God, you are able. More than able, ever faithful, ever sure. Hold me close. Keep me on, keep me safe. You are my God. You are able, more than able, ever faithful, ever sure. Hello, Uncle. Yes, hello, Fadike. Um, Uncle, yeah. there's something I need to tell you. You are the only one I can confide in. Okay. Please promise not to tell anyone. Alright, speak on. Your secrets are safe with me. Fadigan. Ah. What are you trying to do? No, tell me, what are you trying to do? Come on, bring that phone! Ah. Hey, you were trying to make a call? To who? Now let me sound this note of warning. Let me sound this note of warning, Father Kemi. You dare not tell anybody what happened recently. Not your father, not your friend, not any family members or relatives. Ah, the day I discover that you discuss this with anyone, look at me. Father Kemi, look at my face. The day I discover that you discuss this with anyone, I will kill you with my own bare hand. Nonsense. Do you understand? Yes, ma. Better. Nonsense. But, mom. Mm -hmm. What is it? Why are you treating me this way, mom? What have I done to deserve this from you? Dad has always been the one there for me all the time. You never show up whenever I need you. Most of the time, I wonder if truly you're the one that gives birth to me. Father <laughs> came. Fadekemi, God knows. God knows how much I love you. Everyone knows how much I love you. Fadekemi, I gave birth to you. I carried you in my womb. So, how can I hate you? Father Kemi, I, I, I love you. How can I hate you? Is it possible? But mom, you never show it. But I'm trying. I'm trying now. I'm trying my best. I'm trying all I could to show you how much I love you. Father Kemi, there are some things you don't know about me. I've been staying on my own right from when I was age six. I feed myself, I clothe myself, I live on the street, I live on my own. I've been doing all of that, no father, no mother, nobody to take care of me. I've been caring for myself right from age 6. 
I was opened to all manners of her beings. But look at you. I feed you. I clothe you. I put a roof on your head. You're not doing anything on your own. I've been doing all of this by myself since when I was a six. Your father met me on the street. He found me on the street. He married me from the street. I mean, is it, is it a crime? Is it a crime to have fun? Is it is it a crime to just live right and be happy? What have I gone wrong? Oh, even when your father became useless, because he's so useless now, how you know? Since the time he's been so useless, useless for himself, useless for family, useless for everybody around him, has been the one taking up the responsibility of this family. Father came here, I've been the one paying your school fees, paying the house rent, feeding you at that useless man, clothing you. I do everything just because I love you, just to show you love. I do all of that. Yet, you, you, don't, you don't see this. You don't see this. What else do you want me to do? What else do you want me to do? I'm trying my best. But you and your father don't appreciate it. No, where do you think I get those money from? The money I used to take care of you. You know, from <coughs> things like this. I do that to take care of you, to take care of your father, to, to make to, to help to ensure that you don't lack anything. Yes, you are here telling me. I, I, I don't love you. I do all of that to satisfy you. Yet you are telling me that I don't love you. What does you want me to do? But you and your father, you failed to understand me. Now, I appear like a wicked mother now. I'm a wicked mother to you. I'm a wicked wife to your, to, to your father. I mean, you, you now make me feel as if I'm not in my right senses. Like I'm insane. Father, get me, am I insane? No, I'm not insane. Am I? Am I insane? Mom, if you really love me, you will never allow that man to rape me, Mom. You see, Father Kem, you see? You see, some things happen in life that you can't explain, that you don't understand. But because this is life, they must happen. Yes, things happen. My dear, you were raped just once. But as for me, I lost the count. Not once, not twice, not thrice. I lost the count. It became a normal thing for me at a point. Yet I'm not dead. Yes. I'm still living. I'm alive. My dear, that is life. It has happened. Things happen. So you need to brace up. Pick up your life and move on. You're not a baby girl. You're not a baby. Mom. I can't believe I'm hearing this from you, Mom. Like, okay, Mom. Since it happens to you, is it normal to happen to me as well? Father Kemi, you don't understand. You don't understand. Some things you don't, you can't even understand. I can't deal anymore you can't. with this life struggles. I keep getting tired of my existence. <laughs> So, I'm only here. What do you want to discuss with me? Me? Discuss? No, not so, sir. But I thought you... Wait. You called me yesterday and you told me you wanted to confide in me and that I should promise not to tell anyone. Sadike. Or maybe you have forgotten? Yes, I have forgotten. Nothing, sir. Mr. Bright, see me in my office.
Ça Comme il. How many times have I warned you to be careful with the way you deal with students in this school? Especially the female students. Sir, I, I don't understand. I was only doing my duty as a teacher and as the fellowship leader, sir. Oh, your duty is to be seen in a locked, empty classroom with the female students. Is that what your duty is? Uh, well, sir, the, 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 the class was not locked. And it was not empty when we started the conversation. There were other students there. They left in the course of the conversation, sir. Mr. Bright, the father of that little girl called me to report you. He told me you are molesting his daughter. Ah, molest me? God forbid, sir. Leave God aside. And let's face reality here. Those ones that are molesting ladies out there, what do they have that you do not have? What do they have that you do not have on your own body? See, my gentle advice for you is to steer clear from that little girl. <laughs> steer clear from that girl. Else, you will find yourself in serious trouble. In serious trouble. Thank you, sir. Thank yourself. Leave my office. Too great. Anyways, is your parent? Are they at home? I thought we've already undo this. Handled what? Your girl. You, you, you need to see how she behaved to me the other time I came to see your your husband. She even gave me one kind of a look and slammed the door. She's just a little girl. Mm -hmm. That girl is not a little girl. She knows exactly what she's doing. You better let her stop her before she stops us. So far, I'm still her mother. She won't stay. If that girl opens her mouth to tell the world what transpired between us, I tell you, you're going to go down before I go down. Let her stop her before she stops us. The ocean on its tide sweeps off and drenches alive. The hills and the mountains ravish their highs before life. Trust a friend and all is venom must All is vanity, all is vanity. The ocean on its tide sweeps off and drenches alive. You, these children, what are you doing outside? Are you not supposed to be doing the assignment given to you? Auntie, it's Father Kemi. She's smelling. What? And our uniform is messed up. As you drop. Sir, it has happened again. What? Father get something. What about the other students? None of them could withstand the smell coming from her. Oh. I need to get a letter across to her dad. Tell my secretary to come. She needs to type a letter for me. Okay, sir. Ah. Dear Mr. Thompson, I write to you to explain the situation of things with your daughter, Fadike. We are not satisfied that you have allowed her to come to school to mix with every other student, knowing her present health condition. 
students or teacher can no longer withstand the smell coming from her and this has negatively impacted the academics of other students. Some parents have threatened to withdraw their children from our school if this continues. The school management has taken a decision and we advise strongly that for decades stop coming to school till she gets fully treated. This decision was made in the best interest of the staffs and other students of the school. Thank you. We hope to have her back in school soon. What's actually wrong with my daughter? Mr. Thompson, actually I've checked her and some samples have been collected for laboratory tests and um, we have to wait for the results of the test to know the next line of action. From your experience in medical practice, uh, can't you tell us what the problem is? The smell, the discharges, oh, it's quite horrible. Even the pain she goes through, very horrible, doctor. I understand. Though it's an uncommon condition, but um, like I said, we have to wait for the lab result. <sighs> okay. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. And then, um, if I may ask, has she been taking her medications regularly? No, 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 no. She does that very regularly. Look at it. Look at look at the drugs on the table. They're on the dining table. She, she takes them very regularly. As a matter of fact, she takes them religiously. We don't allow her to skip any of the doses of the drug. No. So she takes the drug regularly. But all this thing that's still happening is quite puzzling and painful. It's okay. She'll be fine. So I'll check on her again. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you. August 32, he raped me and my mom is aware. Hello, Larry. It is a rape case. Someone raped my daughter, and my wife is aware of it. Rape? Who told you that? I think I know the person who did it. And I will deal with him. I'm going to deal with him. I'm going to deal with him. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you Mr. Bright Osagi? Y y yes. Okay. You're under arrest. Ah. But why? What have I done? You know what? When you get to our station, we'll find out. Respect yourself. Move. Don't try to be funny. But what, what, what have I done? When you get to our station, you get to my yeah. Father, 
Lord. You know that I am not guilty of what I am accused of. You know that the allegation is wrong. I am here for a crime that I did not commit. But you allowed it. But Lord, I don't want to be here for too long, Lord. God, please, I'm tired. I can't bear this for too long. Just get me out of here. Please, God. Oh, Father, vindicate me, Lord. Hasten my vindication, Lord. Father, oh, Lord, I know you are the same yesterday, today, forever. The same God that saved Joseph from the prison. The same God that saved the Hebrew men from that, from, from, from their own prison of fire, Lord, you will come for me. You will come. Lord, for me, you will show up. You will take me out of this cell, Father, Lord. Lord, I have no, nothing against Fadike. I know Fadike is pushed into this, but Lord, Ah, have mercy on her. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on Fadike in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, that you convince her, Lord, to confess that I have nothing to do with that crime. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That it is not me, Lord. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. And I pray for our family, Lord. Let our family have peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, rescue me, Lord God. And Lord God, I pray that, Fadike, Lord, it is well with you, Fadike, wherever you are. I can't come now. I'm in the middle of something. Can it wait till tomorrow? Okay. Tomorrow is fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Why the look? He wants a divorce. Eh? Isn't that what he wanted all this while? Even at that, I should be the one filing for the divorce and not him. Ah. Have you ever considered what will happen to our secret if the court rules that Father Kemi should be in his custody? <laughs> that is far from happening. <laughs> Why are you so sure? Because, you know, I filed for the divorce on behalf of your husband. I filled all the necessary documents. I, in fact, he doesn't even know about this. I, I included in the papers that he would love that your daughter be in custody of you. I mean, till she's 18. Because of his um, inability and mobility. Oh, what are you are telling me? <laughs> You're such unbelievable. <laughs> ah! Oh my God. You know what? You know what? Hmm? Now we should just celebrate. Ah, yes, so my mind is at rest now. <laughs> ah, so far. I'm not really happy. I am super excited that my reunion with that woman has finally come to an end. <sighs> but I'm seriously bothered about my daughter, Fatike. You see, because of my mobility issues. Uh, the court ruled that Fadika should be in the custody of her mother till she's 18. 
I'm not sure if she will get adequate medical care with her. What can you do to be of help, Doctor? How do you want me to come in? Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Hello? Anyone there? Good afternoon. Uh -uh. Oh, good afternoon, ma'am. So good to see you again. Who are you? Oh, you've forgotten me so soon? Anyway, I'm Dr. Adebola, your family doctor. How may I help you? I'm here to actually run a check on Fadi Kemi. I've been doing that for some time now. Oh. I see. That may not be necessary. Because I've actually arranged for another doctor who will be doing that regularly and more efficiently. But, but ma'am, okay, but even if you have to do that, you should have at least contacted me so that I can transfer her file to the new doctor since I have a medical history since she was four. Are you deaf? Madam, are you deaf? I said your services are no longer needed here. Or is there something else you want? It's Do you okay. want something? It's okay, ma'am. I'll be on my way right now. Oh, you better Thank be. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <sighs> Nonsense. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, Mr. Thompson. How are you doing, sir? Oh, well, I'm not doing bad. How is work? Work has been stressful as usual. I even intended calling you at the close of um, office hour yesterday, but I was at your wife's place. I wanted to run a check on Fadike, but do you know that the mother refused me entering into the house? She didn't even allow me to enter into the house. Not even allowing me to, to run even a physical check on her. It was bad. That woman is not my wife. I'm sorry about that, sir. I'm sorry. I meant to say your former wife. What do you suggest I do next? Sir, I, I will speak with a loyal friend of mine. And I'm sure that the court is going to grant me permission to... To, to visit her and to run a check on her. I'm very sure of that. Oh, great. Yes. So, where will that be given? I'll let you know as soon as it is done.
honestly. I just received the letter now. The court is granting that doctor access to Fadike. You know, I'm just having these feelings. I'm afraid that she might get to know the secret that I've replaced Fadike means drugs with a fake one. You did that. Why? Ah, you know I needed to do anything and everything possible just to stop her from telling the whole world that you raped her. And that is the only way I could have done that. You know, with that, you will not remember anything that transpired between both of you. And after that, after a few months, well, you replace it back with the right one, and she'll be fine. You mean you did all this to your daughter? Larry, why are you talking like this? Larry, why are you talking like this? Well, you know the one who asked me to do everything possible just to stop her from talking? And I did. Ah. Anyways, when next the doctor comes to see Fadika, just call me immediately and I will be there. I will. I'll call you. I'll let you know. Thank you so much. Oh. Yeah. Good afternoon, Lara. Larry. Good afternoon, Doctor. Oh, good afternoon, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. <gasps> Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Hello. How is work? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you, sir. Sir, do you know one Mr. Larry? I met him at your wife's place. Really? That man has been my friend for more than 20 years. Sir, I feel there's something about that man that makes Fadeke uncomfortable. She's uncomfortable around him. Well, I don't think Larry is the problem. Hmm. Fatike has always been uncomfortable hmm. since the memory loss event. Well, it's fine. It's okay. That is by the way. How is my daughter doing? Is she improving? Um, there are beginning to be some changes. And then um, all I can say is that by the grace of God, she's going to be fine. I'll be visiting her more often now, and then I'll always give you feedback. Thank you very much, Doctor. Don't mention it, sir. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.
Dr. Sally? Hey. Ah, Dr. Debola, good to see you. Same here. That woman. What woman? Oh, Mrs. Lara Thompson. Yes. Do you know her? Of course. I'm a family doctor. Why is she here? She's here to see and call this Dr. Chuma. Really? Mm, could you please do me a favor? I really want you to help me check why she has come to see a gynecologist. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. All right, see you. Thank you, bye. Hello, please, is this the Divisional Police Headquarter? Okay, please, I'd like to make a report. I don't think you understand the implication of what you're doing. I am Larry Babatokwe. I have my connect with the cream la cream of this society. And I bet it with you. By the time we're done, is it that you lose your job or your life? Mark my words. The Criminal Code Act states that the punishment for the offense of rape is imprisonment for life. Even the president is not greater than this law. So, Mr. Larry, the only way by which you can walk out of here as a free man is if you are able to prove to us that you are not guilty of the offense you were accused of. Offense? What offense? Rape of a minor. What minor? Padike Thompson, of course. <laughs> Fadike Thompson. She's my daughter. And her father is my friend. So who's the accuser? We have Fadike's statement and some evidences. Fadike's statement. Fadike is a dementia patient. And I'm not going to take anything she says about me serious. But for the other witness, where are the evidence? Well, we have um, CCTV footage recovered from the hotel you have been lodging in. 
seeing you with Padike and three other school girls of the same age. Lie! <laughs> Balance lie! Show me the footages and I'll surrender. Oh, now I understand. So I've been wrongly accused and unlawfully detained all this while. In this facility, I'm not going to say anything again until I see my lawyer. And I promise you that I'm going to sue you. Really? What do you have against me? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Your allegations does not have, 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 have a strong backing. Your argument does not even have a premise. Can I go now? That guy is a criminal. I mean, a hardened pedophile. How could such a disaster be released into the society? You see, whatever we have against him, he's still fertile. We need concrete evidence. Particularly, we need a witness's testimony that has enough weight in jury trial to secure conviction. But we have the diary with a statement that implicates him. No, 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 no. He's not implicated in any way. See, first, the statement didn't mention his name as the perpetrator of the crime. Secondly, even the victim has memory loss history. Her statement is not even accurate. She said the event took place on 32nd of August. Also, her father doesn't even believe she's saying the truth. Oh, Mr. Thompson, how I wish he could see beyond his nose. He's so blinded by sentiment of friendship. What do you think we can do now? Well, Keep our fingers crossed and watch. an instruction from your parents, right? Whatever. Okay, my name is Larry. What's your name? Why? Because I want to be your friend. So I don't make friends with strangers. Okay, I get. But see, I just told you my name is Larry. So please tell me your name so that I won't have to take you as a stranger. I'm Tolu. Tolu. What a beautiful name. So, where is Tolu heading to? Home. Home? Tolu, hope and let me give you a ride. I'm not interested. Why not? Because I know your type. Oh, my type? What is my type? Anytime you offer to help, it means something else. Something else? <laughs> like what? I am not a bad girl. And I'm not a bad boy either. I'm just expressing my goodwill and my gentlemanliness, you know, by offering this token of help. Never refuse. But I insist. Tolu. Good girl. <laughs> a quick reminder. I'm not a bad girl. What's this? They aren't picking. Maybe I should try them one more time, right? Okay. Okay.
Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, Tonu. I don't know if you care for wine. It's okay. Tonu loves wine. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, I'll bring it back. All right, yeah. yeah. So, Tolu, here we go. Thank you. Yeah, this is one of the best wine you get. I hope you're enjoying. Oh. What is all? My phone. Your phone? Yeah. How? I dropped it in your car. Uh, my car, it's safe in my car. Now, when we are done, we'll pick it up. I need it now. It can't be now. Please, please. It's not this kind of a time now. Yeah, what the person did. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I can't actually find your... <laughs> wow. <laughs> look, look at this babe. When I picked you up, you are looking so innocent. Tolu with the instruction from your parents. I... Who said... Young girls, you know, minors are in fresh blood. Test. Look at Father Care. Oh, oh my Father Care. Oh. What about Adiza? What about Uchioma? Oh my goodness. On this same bed. <laughs> I am ready. The hills and the mountains ravage their hearts before life. Trust a friend and Alice with venomous tongue. All is vanity, all is vanity. The ocean on its tide sweeps off and drenches a life. The hills and the mountains ravage their highs before a lie. Trust a friend and Alice with venomous tongue. All is vanity, all is vanity. My dear daughter, for the Kemi, by the time you'll be reading this letter, I will be far gone. I'm sorry. I had to do this. I regret my life in its entirety. I have not modeled a good life for you. My marriage was a mess. My home scattered. And you, my daughter, are my only hope. I lost you to rape and molestation from the one I call my best friend. My life on this wheelchair has been 
nothing but miserable. Thank you for introducing Christ to me. Although I'm now regretting that I did not accept him again. But you tried your best. Please hold on to Jesus. Maybe he can still mend you and give you a befitting life. I'm your father. I love you. Must know end this way. Let In you, so. I put all my confidence. I have Friends on. have turned foes to Every me. One of them. In Every you, one there's, of life them. Oh, yeah. there's life for oh. My life must know end this because way. In you, no. I put all my confidence. Everything. Friends Nothing have left. turned foes to me. Every one of them has you there's life for oh, I can't deal anymore with this life struggles. I keep getting tired of my existence. I keep looking forward to the day or this weekend. Abba, 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 save me. I can't deal anymore with this life troubles. I keep getting tired of my existence. I keep looking forward to the day all this weekend. Abba, 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 save me. Your love is too sweet, yo. Oh. Ah, your love is kind, oh. Hey, you are merciful and gracious, oh. You make my life better, oh. Hey, your love is too sweet, yo. Oh. Ah, your love is kind, oh. Hey, you are merciful. Full and gracious, oh, you make my life better, oh, yeah. My life must know end this way. In you, I put all my confidence. I Friends have turned foes to me. In you, there's life for My life must know end this way. In you, I put all my confidence. Friends have turned foes to me. In you, there's life for your love is too sweet, oh. Your love is kind, oh. You are merciful and gracious, oh. You make my life better, oh. Your love is too sweet, oh. Your love is kind, oh. You are merciful and gracious, oh. oh you are the gracious, you make my life better, oh. Yeah.